sound lines. And today, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to have some fun playing a little bit of blues guitar. Uh, many of you have been uh, writing in and requesting, telling me that you're playing a few cards now and you've been able to transition from one, to the, one card to the other smoothly. And so I thought maybe it'd be a great time to do a little fun video today. Teach you a little bit uh, about how to play blues guitar on your guitar. Uh, and it's, it's really uh, a fun type of uh, music to play on guitar. It's great for guitar. And uh, again, keep it simple. We're going to keep it very simple for you. Uh, the intro I did right there at the beginning of this video uh, is blues using the E and the A7 and the B7. E, A7, B7. Uh, but for today's uh, video, today's lesson, I'm going to use the E7, which is a little easier version, and the A7, easier version, and the B7, easier version. It'll make it a little easier to play the cards, and so therefore you'll be able to get to this right away and start playing the blues a little bit. Now today, uh, I want to also talk about the very first thing, many of you, if you've been here before, uh, you know that uh, my number one tip is when you sit down and get ready to practice guitar, be sure your guitar is in tune. Absolutely a must. You do not want to be playing on out of tune guitar at any stage of your playing, whether you're an accomplished player or a newbie, beginner. It has to be in tune. And the easiest way to be sure that your guitar is in tune you can tune by using a keyboard, piano, uh, that sort of thing, or tuning from another guitar. Someone's already in tune, tune yours to theirs. The, the easiest way is to get your electronic tune like the one you see here many times on in my guitar. It's made by Snark, S-N-A-R-K, called the S-N-1, Snark. And it's a great little tuner. All you do is tune it, turn it on. It's calibrated to concert pitch, which is standard pitch, where, you, where your guitar should be tuned. And you just hit your strings. You hit start with the top string, hit E, and when it's going to show E in the digital display, when the strings in tune, the needle will start moving, and when it's in the center, you'll see a green light. That means that that strings in tune, and you do that all the way down. E A D G B N E, E A D G B N E, top to bottom, E A D G B E. Great little, little uh, item to have, really a must to have. If you can't tune by ear, uh, this is the way to go. And I recommend this is the way to go for, like I say, everyone, beginner to advanced. So be sure your guitar is in tune. And uh, also, be sure your fingernails are trimmed, that they're sharp. Um, that will allow you to play the cards properly, make them sound clear, and be able to play, uh, easily transfer from one card to the other. All right, into the blues today, and I think you're going to really enjoy this. We're going to start off with the E7. Just take your first finger, okay, and put it on the third string, first fret. Now, you remember, these are the frets, the little metal bars. So, the third string, first fret, is right next to the first fret. Not on top of it, right next to it, okay. On this side, towards the white piece here, called the nut. On that side of the fret, first fret, okay? And then you'll take your second finger, put it on the fifth string, second fret, next to the second fret. So, fourth, uh, third string, first fret, okay? Fifth string, second fret, E7. That's what it should sound like. Okay? A7. Take your First figure, put it on the fourth string, second fret. Fourth string, second fret. Take your second or third finger, whichever one feels more comfortable to you and can get the job done, making the string sound clear. Uh, I like to use my second finger. So your first finger is on the fourth string, okay? Second fret, second finger on the second string, second fret. A7. A7. So E7. Third and fifth string, first and second fret. Third and fifth string, first and second fret. E7. A7. Second fret on the fourth and second strings. A7. And 
one more card, B7. And this is going to be, again, simple high form of B7. And uh, I most of the time play it in this form. Uh, the, the, the standard way requires four fingers. Playing it with three fingers is a lot easier. So you take your first finger, put it on the fourth string, first fret. Second finger, fifth string, second fret. Third finger, third string, second fret. That's B7. Okay? B7. Fourth string, first fret, fifth string, second fret, third string, second fret. B7. So you have your E7. Okay? Third and fifth string, first and second fret. A7, second and fourth string on the second fret. And the B7, fourth string, first fret, fifth string, second fret, third string, second fret for B7. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with just down strokes. Start with the E7. Then we're going to strum it. Strum along with me now. Play along with me. Uh, we'll get the rhythm down. Uh, again, when it comes to uh, rhythm, and uh, I always like to think of rhythm uh, as timing. Think, think of the song, listen to the song, and get the timing down. If you learn by doing up and down strokes, it really confuses you and ties you up, and you do not have a smooth stroke, a smooth strum back and forth, because you concentrate on how many down and ups you're supposed to be doing. So I always refer to it as timing. So listen to what we're doing, and then try to duplicate the strum that we're doing. Okay, downstrokes first, starting with E7. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Change to A7. That is the second and fourth strings on the second fret. Two, three, four. One, two. Back to E7, 3rd and 5th string, 1st and 2nd fret. E7. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the B7, 4th string, 1st fret. 5th string, 2nd fret. 3rd string, 2nd fret for B7. 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Back to E7. Okay, so let's do it together. One, E7, three, four. One, two, three, A7, two, three, four. Two, three, E7, four. One, two, three, four. B7, A7. Back to E7. And then B7 one more time. Two, three, four. Back to E7. So I to all over again repeats, okay? Now, I'm going to strum it a little bit. We're going to do a slow strum. Follow along with me. Let your wrist do most of the work. You do not want a stiff arm coming up and down with the whole arm from the elbow to the, to the string. You want to let your wrist relax. Let it do the strumming. Let it relax. Go back and forth. Okay. We're going to do the E7. Let's strum along with it. We're going to slow it down. We're going to go to A7. Back to the E7. the B7, A7, back to the E7, now all starts repeating again, so E7 to A7 to E7 to B7, a7 and back to E7. Now, let's speed the scrub up just a little bit. Again, strum along with me. You may not be able to do exactly what I'm doing as far as the strum, but work at it. Listen to what I'm doing, strum along with me. 
and you'll get it in no time at all. Just relax, don't don't concentrate too much uh, on the up and down. Just hear it and work along with it. Show along with me. E7. Now we're gonna do what we're gonna do. This change it up a little bit with the chord change as far as to how long we hold each chord. So we start with E7. Okay, I speed it up a little bit. On E7. A7. Now we're going to go to E7 a little quicker. E7. A7. There you go, we got to go on E7. Second, fourth string, second fret. And B7, first finger on the fourth string, first fret. Second finger on the fifth string, second fret. Third finger on the third string, second fret for B7. Now, once you get used to that, those cards that simplify, you can play the same thing using the E and the A7 and the B7 in their full form. And the E and the A7 and the B7 in the full form will sound quite a bit different. Gives you another variety of playing these, these blues rhythms. But I'm going to show you what, what they sound like using those chords. So the E and A7. You can hear the difference. It's actually the E. A7, A7, and back to the E, B7, A7, E. Okay, so I'm going to tell you real quick the E position is the third string, okay? First fret, second, uh, I'm sorry, second fret on the fifth string, okay, second fret on the fourth string, first finger is on the third string, first fret, second finger is on the fifth string, second fret, third finger is on the fourth string, second fret for E. Now, if you move your third finger up out of that card, you'll have the third and fifth string, which is the E7. Okay, you put it down back to the fourth string with the other two down to your E. You hear the chain. Okay, A7, a little tricky card here. What you need to do is take your finger and roll it on over. This is a good tip for it when you're trying to make bar cards down the road. Not now, but down the road. The A7 kind of lets your first finger not, not be flat across the first four strings. Let it roll over. Kind of to the side, 
and at an angle, at an angle. And that will help you be able to press this, all the strings down at one time. And then press the four, first four strings down on the second fret and add your second or your third finger, whatever you feel comfortable with, I use both, and put it on the first string, third fret, A7. And then the B7 is the same thing we were playing at first. Uh, the fourth string, first fret, fifth string, second fret, okay, and the third string, second fret. B7. But the only difference is you're going to add the little finger on the first string, second fret, for the B7. Okay. So it's just like the B7 simplified car we, we showed you at first. And you just add the little finger to the first string, second fret. One more time, let's do this. E. A7. E. B7. A7. And as you get more familiar with these cards and the card changes, and then you and you get your rhythm down, you can really start experimenting with your rhythm, changing it up uh, as you're playing these cards to get different sounds of the blues, blues sounds. Uh, I'll just kind of go over here with you and uh, show you what you can do with them. Yeah, there's a whole lot more you can do with them. Really a great fun set of cards. And again, on the rhythm, strum along with me when you practice with the video here, with the lesson. And uh, do the best you can. And before you know it, it will not take long. You'll be strumming perfectly with me. And really enjoying these, these cards. E, A, K, A7 I mean. And the uh, B7. A lot of fun. And if you like what I'm doing, if you, if you uh, enjoyed this lesson, leave your comments down below this video. I always enjoy hearing from you. Uh, let me know if you're having any trouble with anything I can help you with with your lessons. I'm always glad to help. I will answer your, your questions personally. Uh, I, I enjoy your comments, uh, both positive and negative. Uh, yes, we do get some negative, but mostly positive. That's great. Uh, and again... Uh, I will have a link also down below uh, to my 38 Best Beginner Guitar Lesson course uh, lessons. It's 38 step-by-step -step lessons that I've used for over 40 years to teach uh, people how to play the guitar here in my studio and now available on the internet to you absolutely free, 100% free. There's nothing to buy. I'm not going to send you to a sales page, nothing like that. When you get Go to my website, click the link below, bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com. It's going to bring you, enter your email, press the little button. It's going to bring you to the top uh, page full of the links for each lesson, one by one. Click those links one by one, practice them uh, one, one by one, go down the list day to day. Learn each one well, and you'll be playing cards and songs in no time at all. The best way to learn how to play guitar is focus on a simple, easy, proven, effective system. And that's what I'm offering here, absolutely free. If you were coming to my studio here, one-on-one with, -on -one with me, uh, you'd be looking 
about 38 weeks of lessons and uh, well over a thousand dollars but no I'm not asking anything for them they're, they're free to you to use uh, and you will learn how to play guitar if you dedicate your time to these lessons and uh, don't stray all over the internet uh, what happens when you start looking on the internet you'll see uh, one one teacher teaching this or some guitar player showing you this and uh, you just get overloaded overwhelmed and not really be going in any direction uh, you would be surprised how many uh, people that come have come to me here locally and say uh, I can play I can play some guitars and I'll ask them what you know show me and they'll be playing uh, a riff or two you know the individual knows and not playing a song and it's about songs when, when you see performers on stage uh, the lead guitar players play a lead but that's what he does but the rhythm is what you're wanting the chords chord progression and, and the rhythm and play your favorite songs that's most people wanting to play songs and uh, enjoy themselves play along with their family and friends uh, church group whatever you're wanting to do learning songs is the best way the easiest way to go so don't forget about my lessons down in the description click on them and you can go directly to to the lessons uh, after, enter, after you enter your email punch the button they bring you right to the lesson page with all the links to each individual video lesson step by step and again uh, I always appreciate hearing from you leave your comments below if there's something you would like for me to cover in one of my lessons here uh, leave your comment be glad to do it uh, I'll always enjoy hearing from you and uh, I'm here to help I'm here to teach you uh, how to play the guitar and that's what we're going to do so until next time let's go play some guitar